What's up, Stripe Nation? Blake Albert here with B&B Lawn Care. My goodness, it is super, super slick out. So I'm, I actually need to put it in four-wheel drive. Hold on. We are uh, getting some snow here today. Four by four shift in progress. Now we're good to go. Snowing here today and iced yesterday. Snowed a little bit yesterday, but now we're about to get hit with, they say, four to eight inches depending on if it rains at all or not so i'll be working tomorrow which is good but i need to do some preparation last night around six o'clock i went to home depot and picked up an online order i could not find this machine anywhere else like within two hours from me no dealers or nothing so I had to order it online from Home Depot. I'll show you guys that in a second, but right now I have to go pick up my open trailer um, from our shop. And um, last week it had a flat tire, so I filled it up. So I'm hoping that it's still up and ready to go and it was just like a, a little thing. But we'll see if it's flat there today. Uh, it's going to be a little bit longer. My kids have a doctor's appointment about an hour and a half. It's dad life. It's, it's literally hectic. Like our lives are literally hectic. Like we get zero sleep. Like we probably slept for like three hours last night. Um, it's a full-time job, but this is my job that pays me. So we had to get the kids taken care of and I have to work when I can and be with them when I can. Um, but we're gonna go pick up the trailer. Then I'll show you guys the new piece of equipment. But the rest of the week, and it, I don't normally post on Tuesdays. I normally try to post on Thursdays. But um, I shared with Instagram, I'm gonna share today what the, the new machine is. So I wanted to share with everybody here on YouTube what the new machine was. And uh, I'm excited. The rest of the week, I'll be in the LMN training that is like my three things is like snow right now my element training and my kids those are like my three jobs right now but uh, the software is blowing my mind dude uh, so I made a post yesterday it didn't make a lot of sense to people like it, it did and it didn't like it hit home with a bunch of people it didn't like it didn't get a ton of likes or anything but it meant so much to me because five years ago like I saw on like a time hop thing Five years ago, I had the Cub Cadet Zero Turn Mower as my backup. And I tell you, I was so happy then because I was like, dude, I have a backup mower and I have a right, like a commercial right stander as my main mower. Like, I thought I was absolutely killing it. And I, five years, dude, like, it seems like forever, but it's no time at all in the grand spectrum of life. And I'm just so fortunate and lucky and grateful that things are happening in my life and like I continue growing and like, dude, I, it really does mean like a lot. Like I literally sit and think and I'm like, man, I'm so happy with some of the decisions that I've made in my life. Like it really does mean a lot to me. So make the investments in your business. Um, that's all I can say, man. It, it really pays off the way I always did it like I've explained to you guys, was every year I got a new mower and I got a new trimmer and I got a new blower. Like it was, it was just because I wanted to continue upgrading and I knew that upgrading equipment would make us more efficient. And dude, I paid the price. Like I, I, I stayed with my cash model where I didn't take out debt to do it. And it sucked. Like I think people don't understand. I'm not saying that to be like, like cocky. Like I'm saying that because I was cash strapped after I spent all that cash, which was what motivated me to make more money. That's, that was my whole philosophy because I knew mentally I just had to get rid of that money, purchase the machine, and then I could just focus on making more money. But I wasn't paying payments. That was my philosophy. I hope that makes sense. Let's go get this trailer. I just pulled up. I brought hot water. This is like a huge tip for you guys. I bought, I bought, 
I brought hot water because last week it was like nine degrees out. It's 12 today and snowing. And I broke a key off in my lock. So I'm gonna hit it with hot water before I put my key in and hopefully we have no problems there. But let's go get this trailer. All right, I just pulled up to the shop here, but look at this. I just hit 80,000 miles on the Raptor. That makes me so, so sad. This is the uh, new snow blower. It's a Aaron's Platinum 28 show on treads. Super cool. I'll get it out here in a minute and show you guys. But I wanted to give you a real quick tip. So you guys know here on snow blowers you have these little shoes and these are replaceable. You'll replace these eventually when they wear out. That way you're not ruining your edge every time. And I like to leave a little bit in between your actual unit in the ground. That way you're not ruining that edge. But it was so close here from the factory I couldn't tell if it was these little, the shoes were hitting it or the, the edge. So I stuck a flashlight on the other end and that way I could see the light coming through. Uh, I just thought that was a quick little tip. I just kind of made it up and found that, you know, right off the fly here, but seemed to work really, really well. But we're taking the plastic here off and uh, I think the snow's gonna start flying tonight around 11 p.m. So. I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. All right, guys, here it is. Like I said, this is an Aaron's Platinum 28 show with track. I'm gonna call them tracks. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, no, those are like treads, because they're not metal, tracks are metal, but I'm calling them tracks, because it's a lot more fun and cooler. And that's the sole reason that I wanted this machine versus a wheel, well, obviously, but we get normally what our snows are is a thin layer of ice and then snow, which makes literally tires basically useless. So I went over a little bit of ice. We have like a thin sheet of ice in front of our garage door. For some reason, the sun doesn't hit it. And so I went over that and I know I can't tell exactly, but I think this is going to be so much better. I'm super, super, super excited about this. I can't wait. So I just got everything. Like literally, it still has plastic. Still has plastic on it. I just got it all together. All I had to do was put this on, a couple of little bolts there, put this little assembly, two wires, and like that was it. So, and put gas in it. I mean, other than that, it was pretty much assembled in the box. We took it off of the pallet and off of a box yesterday at Home Depot. Um, super excited about it. Let me show you a few little things here. Then tomorrow will be a different video. Well, not tomorrow on YouTube, but tomorrow in my life will be a different video of me using this thing. Sorry, I'm super tired, guys, if I sound a little weird. But let me show you some features here that are super cool. And I don't want to show you too much of my garage. It's an absolute disaster. But here's my old boy. This thing's probably six or seven years old. I think it's seven years old. Man, it's just the last year last year man was rough i i literally don't think it would last another season it's a 26 inch troy belt i i just don't think it would last now this is like this is like the cadillac dude like this is this is like the the creme de la creme man and i'm working with aaron's on this like they're helping me out with this in return for a video like like on my honest of thoughts and you guys know that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on this. So shout out to them. Let me show you some cool features though. Uh, heated, heated handles here. I, it was on for like two minutes while I was pulling up on the trailer, making sure everything's good. Um, and it started warming up. Like, obviously you're going to have gloves and stuff on, but I think that's going to help from if it's snowing or something from ice or snow accumulating on here could be handy. I think it's, a freaking cool feature um then this obviously you pull back and you can turn this all from the handle now this is a cooler feature this lever if i can oh sorry you gotta go this way now this lever maneuvers this up and down which is huge my troy built 
it was just a little screw here that you had to loosen, then you adjusted where you wanted to go, and then you tightened it up. That is a huge feature. Like, let's say you have a car, you just need to get it out of the way, and you don't want to hit anything, just put that down. Super, super cool feature. Might not seem like a big deal, but if you guys use snowblowers a lot, you know that's, that's a huge deal. Obviously, backwards and forwards. Now, now the coolest thing, what really takes this from like versus my old Troy built to this thing being the top of the line of a snowblower is their auto turn. It's the freakiest thing. If now my buddy had a Honda one, I mean, dude, this thing was old as could be. He had it as his dad has it, had it when we were kids. So it's probably like 25 years old now or something, super old. It was impossible to turn. This thing, like literally you can turn it one-handed when you're going with that auto turn technology. Like it's super, super cool. Now, the way it's in right now, guys, look at this. You would never be able to do that if it didn't have any sort of technology in it. But look, this handle, this, dude, this is wicked. Watch this. That enables the tracks down. So when they're up like it was, it's basically like having tires. Now that it's down, bro, it's full-time tank action, dog. And that's when the auto turn technology really helps. And you have to be going for it to do it. But my goodness, guys, I am like a kid on Christmas Eve right now. I'm so pumped and ready to use this thing. Uh, I got the 28 inch. I mean, obviously, you know from the name, but 28 inch, dude. Super pumped about it. Even like I was looking at the shear bolts and stuff here versus my other ones are just a lot heftier, dude, versus my old shear bolts. I'm pumped, bro. I'm super, super pumped. I can't wait to use it. So sweet. We had to get Natalie. I don't know if you guys, did I show you guys my, Nat, uh, not mine, Natalie's new car? I can't remember if I showed you, but I know I showed it on Instagram or something, but we had to get it out today. The kids are doing well. We had to go to the doctor, but her car's pretty sweet. I like that car, but I love this thing. So next video, guys. I look like a homeless man, sorry. Next video, I will show you this in action. We're, like I said, we're either gonna get four or eight inches of snow. They still don't know it's 2020 and they have no clue uh, what, what's gonna happen. I might wake up with nothing, but hopefully we have a good, you know, six to eight inches tomorrow. I'd be happy with that. So I can really put this thing to the test. So there it is, guys, the new snowblower. Super pumped, man. Hope you guys enjoy. If you like the video, if you wanna see the next one, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.